I've been using Blender for over a decade and designing for 3D print for about half that time. Join me in this series and I will show you all my tricks. Whether you are completely new to Blender or very experienced and want to get into 3D printing, I'm sure there's something we can show you. Um, for instance, there's a short introduction in new tools in Blender, such as the ruler and the mesh analysis, which are incredibly useful. You can go to the blender.org eShop to order your DVD now, or you can stay here for a short preview lesson. So here comes the very last and probably funkiest way to check your wall thickness. Uh, let's select nothing on the model with clicking on letter A. And there is a brand new feature on the right here with mesh debug. It is an overlay on top of your mesh that can give you information about the state of it. So I will enable this and already we can see it turns the entire mesh uh, into a nice gray. The gray means this is fine. So everything that's gray should be fine no matter what you're checking for. Uh, be aware that if you have modifiers like I have here on the right, if it is enabled, you can see the mesh debug doesn't work. So be sure you've disabled your modifiers. You can either disable it only for edit mode or just disable the view completely. In this case, only for edit mode because mesh debug only works in edit mode. If we are in object mode, we don't see it. We go into edit mode. And in this case, we want to see about thickness. Now, these values, 100 micrometers, is very, very thin. You can see there is only one face, or there's actually two or three that are highlighted that could have a problem. What I will do is make the maximum two millimeters. And you can see everything that has a wall thickness under two millimeters gets a nice color. Um, and we can set a lower limit as well, which is really nice. For instance, I will set it to one millimeter. So everything that is less than one millimeter becomes completely red. Everything that's less than two millimeter gets a color, gradually going from blue to green, which is more of a problem, from green to red, which is really a problem. So red is one millimeter and lower in this case. Under two millimeters could be the green or these and we can edit whilst we're looking at this, which is very, very nice. So I can see there's a problem with the leg. If I go make it thicker by shrinking or fattening it, if I fatten it enough, you can see the value updates automatically. This can make your computer a little bit slow, but it gives you an instant update about whether or not you fixed your problem. And uh, the way to deal with this sort of thing really is to use the mesh debug to fix everything. You just keep this as an overlay to show you whether you're actually fixing the problem. If you want to make sure you fixed everything, you go into the 3D print tools and click on the thickness check. If the result is zero, not 441, as it is in this case, you've really fixed it. This is a nice visual overlay that you use whilst you're editing. The other one is the confirmation, yes, it is really fixed. Um, you should have enough tools now to see where the problems are in your mesh. I will go record a tutorial now about how to fix them. <laughs> 